This is Ryan Ree again from HK Stuff. You're watching this uh, video right now. Probably you're quite confused about indirect taxes, and maybe you have a test coming up or an exam coming up for your IB diploma relating to indirect tax. Okay, so in this session today, what I would give you is some basic knowledge and concepts about indirect tax, and more importantly, I'll tell you exactly how the IB likes to test you uh, when it comes to indirect tax. So I'll give you all the common exam questions. Okay, so. Indirect tax. First, you need to know the definition of an indirect tax. Indirect tax is what we call tax on its expenditure. Okay, indirect tax refers to tax on expenditure. Okay, so tax on expenditure. Um, so indirect tax. So for example, when for each packet of cigarette, if there's a two dollar indirect tax, it means for each packet the government takes away two dollars. So indirect tax decreases profitability for producers. Okay, because it makes it for every packet of cigarette you can make fewer profits. Okay, so there's lower profitability. And then besides that, it is we can we always say it is equivalent to an increase in cost of production. Okay, an indirect tax is equivalent to an increase in cost of production. Okay. So uh, in terms of diagram, what you need to know, because it's, if it, if there, when there's an increase in the cost of production, the supply curve shifts upwards, right? So that is it, okay? Because of the higher cost of production, it shifts up. So what, what do they like to test you in the exam? Number one, effects on stakeholders. So you need to know how does, the, how does a tax affect the different stakeholders, including producers, government, and consumers. Secondly, you need to know how to relationship with PED and PES. The PED and the PES are going to affect the effectiveness of an indirect tax. Okay. Thirdly, market evaluation. Okay. So, if you have learned the market failure chapter, you know indirect tax can be used to solve market failure problems, and you need to know exactly. You have to know how to evaluate whether indirect tax is good or bad to use. Okay. So I know. Hopefully, you, this gives you a basic concept about how IB likes to test you on uh, indirect tax. Okay. If you know these things, you should be fine. Okay. Uh, if you want to know more, if you, if you want somebody to teach you exactly how to write exam questions relating to indirect tax, well, you can register for a free trial lesson uh, down below. In the free trial lesson, uh, we will tell you, we will give you all the notes for, um, for uh, we'll give you notes for the um, indirect tax. You will go through all exam questions. I'll teach you exactly how to write economics essays uh, related to indirect tax, okay? And, um, well, you know exactly the exam phrasing you should use to get a level seven. Okay, so it's the the free trial lesson is completely free. No down payment is required. So if you just want to learn more, you can register for it. If you're a local student based in Hong Kong, you can also register for a live lesson. So I hope to see you soon.